I don't know how many of you are aware of this, but there's a woman named Asiya Bibi. Uh, she lives in Pakistan, and she is a Christian. And uh, one day she was going to a well to get some water, draw some water for her family. And there were uh, several um, uh, Muslim women there, Pakistani women. And they offered her a drink out of, uh, out of their vessel, and she took it. And then they began to, um, you know, I don't want the word, evangelize, maybe is probably the wrong word. Uh, they began to proselytize, maybe is a better word, to get her to convert to Islam. And she politely declined and said, no, no, I'm, I'm Christian. Uh, I, I, I have a different beliefs and I, I don't have any interest in changing. And uh, these Pakistani women made a charge uh, that she blasphemed against the Quran. Um, she was picked up, arrested, abused, uh, she was uh, in jailed, and given the death penalty. All because she took a drink of water. And um, it's starting to make some motion here in America. It's starting to make some, uh, some waves in America. And uh, from what I understand, there's been international outcry and uh, Mrs. Beebe has been released from prison However, there are calls in mass demonstrations. I don't know if you guys see this on Twitter, uh, calling for her execution. If you know what I'm saying. And you see uh, Pakistani men marching in the streets by the hundreds, screaming for this retribution for what she has done. She has uh, asked for asylum. She would like to go to the West. Don't blame her. And I'm really hoping that America allows her in. It's a shame. And so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just, I'm going to offer up a prayer uh, for uh, Mrs. Beebe and her family. Um, so join me if you will. Father God, I just want to come before you, Lord, and just I lift up uh, Asiya Beebe to you, Lord, and her family. She has kids, she has little ones, Lord, and, and she is being persecuted straight out of the book of Revelation for what uh, what she believes and what she holds to, Lord. I pray that you would step in and be a, uh, a divine presence to guide her, to shelter her, and to keep her safe, Lord. And please get her out of the country. Get her somewhere where she can live safely, Lord, where she can um, practice her faith safely, Lord. And I ask this in your name, Jesus. Amen. So uh, we will keep you posted on uh, Mrs. Beebe and her family, and uh, thank you uh, for watching. And, and it, if you, um, if she comes to mind, say a prayer for her, will you? I'll see you guys later.